Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. So in this video, whoa, Jesus Christ. Well, it hit the uh, cinema display stand that I have in the front here and it has a dent. There it is, great. Bam, here we have the blue Galaxy S9, which I just repaired the battery in this short. So if you haven't checked that out, link's gonna be there. As you can see this thing is still on Samsung Experience 9. Samsung Experience 9 Android 8. It's original firmware. Look how nice, look how good everything runs. Bam, bam. Well, today we're gonna do another magic trick with this Galaxy S9, and that is, we're gonna upgrade this thing from its original firmware Android 8 Samsung Experience A9 to One UI 7. You heard me guys, One UI 7. Not the latest one, but you know, it's pretty latest. One UI 7 guys, let's go here. Then it's thanks to Duhan ROM version 4 by Duhan SYSL. So big thank you to Duhan for creating this Duhan ROM for the Galaxy S9 s9 plus and the note 9 this rom is based on the s24 fe with the june security patch and we also have full support of galaxy ai and the now brief you guys if you guys use that and we got a samsung app Ooh. so i'm going to show you guys on how to install this from another custom rom but if you guys want to know on how, on how to install it from a stock rom i will link you guys on the icard right there which I already made the video about. So I will leave you guys the XDA link down in the description down below. Like I said guys, it will work with the S9, S9 Plus, and the Note 9 Exynos variant. Snapdragon users, I'm sorry, there's not there's nothing much for you right So we are at the XDA link here. What we're gonna do is scroll down here until you see there. 4.1 is the latest one as of making this video, which is August 22. We'll click on the Google Drive link here and you guys can download the ROM. By the way, there's also another thing that we're gonna download here. So you can just download that one. There's another thing that we gotta download here, which is the two zip file, a repartitioner file and the cleaner file. You can see there, repartition, we gotta download all the files here from here, gotta click on that link, and we're gonna download these two files, the cleaner zip and the repartitioner zip, all right? Then, then once you download all those three things, copy them to the SD card because we're gonna delete the phone's internal storage, every single thing's gonna get wiped, all right? Also, while you add it, you gotta back up your phone using twerp, so make a full uh, Android backup in case of something goes wrong or you guys want to get back. We can easily do that using a backup, all right? Well, now what we're gonna do here is gonna go ahead and turn off the phone. Power off, power off. All right, once the phone power off here, we're gonna press on power, the big speed button, and the volume up button here. So press them at the same time here. One, two, three, four. Once you see the S9 logo here, keep holding the big speed button and the volume up buttons. Bam, we're inside Twerp. Now the first thing that we're gonna do in Twerp is click on install. Here's the file that I have, the cleaner, the repartitioner, and the ROM. So we're gonna flash the repartitioner.zip, flash that baby up, do Han ROM. All right guys, so once you reboot the Twerp here, we're gonna click on wipe, format data, and type in Y-E-S, hit the check mark. Now you guys might see some red lines here, so we're gonna go in and fix that, go to advanced wipe, and we're gonna hit on Delphi cache, system, Vendor, ODM, cache, data, internal storage, preload, all right? Mark all these things up, check it out, and make sure to wipe all of these, all right? Wipe, and now when I hit on reboot to recovery, all right, now we are rebooted back to twerp. Now, we gotta click on install the cleaner.zip, all right? Flash to confirm flash, here we go, we're flashing the cleaner zip. All right, now we can finally install the Duhan ROM. So click on the ROM here and swipe to confirm flash. Now the aroma installer will pop up and that will allow us to choose which and st which stuff we want and which stuff we don't want to install, all right? So let's go on next, uh, next, I agree, next. And with the wipe section here, we're gonna click on yes, I want to do a full wipe, next. And we're gonna hit on wipe application data, just for why not, next. CSC here, let's see here. Just pick the country that you are on right now. Mine is Indonesia and I think it has one. And there it is, XID, but this is unknown, all right. Now we got some customization here, so we're gonna choose which one that we want or uncheck the one that we don't want. So I'll keep them all like this, next. We're gonna choose the kernel SU next here to install. We're gonna hit on wipe old here, next. And let's do this one for, for all five intensity. Next, high vibration. And we can also remap our Bixby button here. We're gonna hit on the mute. Next. And we got some specialties from the ROM here. We can choose the green, the green screen fix if you guys have a green screen issue. All right, hit on next. 
keep on the emoji here, Samsung emoji. I'm gonna uninstall the Google font. And let's go to Android 11 Sound Live app. And boot animations here, we're gonna pick the new one and the stock S9, because I want to. Google Smart, let's cap Gemini. And we got some choosies here that we can pick for the AI, the Galaxy AI, next. And we got some Samsung apps here we can uninstall or install and just do this next and that's all we need and let's hit it install now there you go now i actually already have this rom installed like i already tried it for like five days but i have some parts of the video that i forgot to shoot so we're already shooting the video right now but what i can tell you guys is uh the rom runs pretty well on an s9 or what is this a seven year old device it's still running pretty well even though there is some kind of random restarts here and there. So bear that in mind, there's gonna be some random restarts here and there, at least on this version 4.1. I don't know about the newer version, hopefully they were fixed. But for battery life and the performance, uh, leave it for like three, four days and it actually runs pretty great. All right, we do got a little error here, failed to unknown data, hopefully that was fine. And Duhan ROM is specifically installed. Let's click on automatically restart here. It's on exit and reboot. And we'll see here. Will the phone boot to one UI 7? Hey, there you go. We got the new boot animation as well. Nice, huh? Oh, 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 oh. Salamat the tongue. Wow, guys. Look at that. One UI 7 successfully boots on the S9. Huh? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Duhan, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Alright, so I'm going to set up real quick here. You're all set up, guys. Let's hit that home button here in 3, 2, 1. And... Oh, look at that, my man. What? Shut up. One UI 7 on the Samsung Galaxy. Can I lock the phone? Thank you. One UI 7, guys, on the Samsung Galaxy S9. The same blue, beautiful fingerprint S9 here. Look at that, look at that, the, the 3D Touch Home button works, Whoa. let's go to settings here, oh we got the separate one, let's go to edit, panel settings, together, like the way how it's supposed to be Samsung, don't follow the Apple way alright, there you go, let's go to about phone, there you go guys, One UI 7, Android 15, yo look at that, the real deal. We got, we got, the, we got the vibration feedback too with this thing, yo. Oh, heck yeah, man, heck yeah. With the June first security patch, you see here, not much apps has to be installed because I chose no Samsung apps. But if you choose, if you want to have the Samsung apps, you can have it if there were not. Now, guys, by default here, if you go to device care, right, it will say here learning usage pattern, so it will learn, it will learn the battery, but I don't know if it'll work. Let's go to memory here. I think RAM Plus will automatically turn on. Yeah, RAM Plus will automatically turn on. So if you guys want to have it turn on and keep it on, I'm going to disable it actually. So I'm going to restart the phone here. All right, so I check the SIM card is working here. I'm going to take it from this iPhone here. Boop, there we go. LTE Plus is just the CSC tweaks that shows you LTE Plus instead of 4G Plus, but it works. That's my carrier right there, nice and easy. So guys, let's check out the camera here. But first, you guys can see there, that's the One UI 7 icons. This was actually not gonna be the One UI 7 uh, camera app. It's gonna be the One UI 5. As you can see here, we got the old user interface with the here and here. Let me see here. So here I have a Galaxy Tab A9 here, which is running the original One UI 7. As you can see, if I open up the camera here on these two devices, you can see the uh, slider here are on the kind of middle versus the One US 7 one, they're more on the bottom, you know, making towards that one hand usage if true is a tablet. <laughs> and all the settings are tucked in right here versus here is just still on the top right here. So let's check out the Galaxy AI Eraser. here. I have this SIM ejection tool. Let's see here, can I take a picture? I could. Now let's go ahead and delete that SIM ejection tool. Now let's go ahead and hit the AI button. And we got, there we go, some introduction again. Let's go ahead and turn this circle around this SIM tool here. Will it able to detect it? Oh, whoa, that's perfect. It may be not so on here, but look at that, that's perfect. Let's first go ahead and delete that. All right, let's just try to delete it. And on generate here, look at that, filling the image, yada yada. 
Whoa, look at that. It's blending it pretty good. All right. So now let's go ahead and go back. So let's go ahead and move this. Let's move it right here. Yeah, let's move it right there. Hit on generate. You do also have circle to search in this ROM, but I haven't updated my Google app and oh yes, it works. Oh, look at that. That's before, that's after. And you can see here, if I go to settings, bam, it just pops, 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 pops. Turn the phone, pop. You know, a little bit delay, but hey, for the 7 year old device, guys, this is still running pretty well. I mean, if you compare it to a, to a Galaxy A06, A07, you know, it will run much better than those devices. But if you go to sub menu here, if I go to here, you can see that there will be a delay. Like it just doesn't go in immediately. Like you have to wait like a millisecond for it to go. So it does go here. Boom, there we go. It doesn't go immediately. Boom, there we go. Okay, fingerprints and look at that guys. We even got the Galaxy, but this is an S9 Plus, but we do got the graphics for it though. Little things like that, man. Amazing, amazing work, Duhan. All right, fingerprint added here. Let's go to our lock screen. We got the AOD. Let me double tap it, let me double tap. There we go. We got the new AOD here. Let's go ahead and unlock it. Let's do one more. It's a little slow here, but I have a theory to speed it up, guys. You turn this off. Bam, just immediately pops up. Bam. There you go. There it is. Duhan ROM 4.1. I will show you guys here. Duhan ROM 4.1. All right. Amazing, amazing ROM, Duhan. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Duhan, for creating this ROM and bringing life all these old phones. Amazing, amazing work. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I will show you guys in the next video. Peace.